Hello, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we will be modeling this Batarang, first we will do the modeling process and then we are going to do the shading. But first if you are new to the channel, then please like and subscribe, so you are always updated of my new upcoming videos. Well let's go to Blender. Bring in the reference image into the scene. I am going to drop the link of the reference image in the description, so all of you can follow along as well. Bring in a cube. Put an edge loop right in the middle, so we can remove one half, and then mirror the rest of the geometry to the other side. Scale down the bottom edges. Put another edge loop and slide it up. Try to move the vertices. So we can have a shape like in the reference image. Now extrude the ears. Merge the vertices. Scale it down a bit. Add another edge loop. Now start extruding.
select the wing's upper edge. Extrude it upwards a bit. Now scale it down. Scale down the selected edge loops, so we have a pointy edge of the blade. Add an edge loop, right beside the selected edge loop to keep the sharp edges sharp, when we use a subdivision modifier. Add edge loops wherever you want the corners to be sharp later on. Put a subdivision modifier on the model. Our Batarang model is done, now it's time to do shading. We are going to use a black metal material for the whole body. It's time to make the outer blade material. Create a random white material first. Select the edge loops, where you want the material to be assigned. We are going to use a glossy shader. Now we are going to bring in a noise texture. It looks colorful now, we are going to adjust it in a while. Pump up the scale, and detail on the noise texture. Press Ctrl plus T, to bring in mapping and the texture coordinate nodes. Bring the scale up along its Y axis to give horizontal lines across the blade. Now we are going to bring in an RGB to black and white node.
Now bring in a color ramp. Bring in another glossy shader. Select Sharp from the drop down menu. Bring in a mix shader to mix the two glossy shaders. Bring in layer weight. Join facing to the factor of the mix shader. Select Ease in the color ramp drop down menu. Select Ease in the color ramp drop down menu. Our Batarang is now complete. But if you want to make the top blades more prominent like the one I made earlier. Select this edge loop, that we created earlier to keep the edges of the blade sharp. And assign the blade material to it, and we are done. This is the final model. Now bring in an HDR into the scene and throw some good lighting and you will be able to make awesome renders. Well this is all for today, if you liked the video, then please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Rogue Knight 3D, so you can find my upcoming videos easily. Well see you in my next video. Take care till then, happy blending.